Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another combination Tinkercad and 3D printing video. So let's get cracking. So today, friends, we are going to do a little bit of a challenge. We're going to do the Artillery X4 Pro versus my Mingda Magician X2. We are going to do the same print on both, and let's see which one turns out better, and we'll keep track of the time. The print we are going to use is one of my favorites. It is going to be my HL Flexi Fish. I am bringing it into Kira. I do like to spin this 90 degrees when I print it. We are going to be using PLA, but instead of extra fast, I'm going to go to Draft 0.2 so that both machines have the same settings. 0.8 for the walls, 0.8 for the top bottom. I'm going to keep the infill at 20%, 200 are my speeds. I'm not going to have any support or build plate adhesion. And then this one I save via SD card. Hit save to removable disk, and I can eject that disk so we can take it over to the 3D printer. We're going to send the same print with artillery slicer for the X4 Pro. Once again, we'll hit that plus sign. Quick search term for my HL Flexi Fish. I'm going to do the same thing with rotating this one. Notice if you go all the way inside, it snaps to that spot even faster. You'll also notice I skipped the update. I found that when I did do the update, it broke my configuration. To solve that, I just reinstalled. They do say there's an undo, but I have not tracked that down yet. If we check out the settings, once again, we are doing artillery PLA. No supports, no brim. I am going to switch to 20% infill so that those are both the same. Now I can hit slice now. It tells me there are stability issues. I am going to ignore those. It says it's going to be about a 35 minute print. And I just ran in and hit print on the other printer. Now we can upload and print via Clipper Wi Fi. So from my computer to the 3D printers is about 45 feet. So there was a slight gap between the start of the two, but it's pretty darn close. Um, let me check out the beginning of the prints at slow speed. And then I'm going to use video edit and ramp it up in just a moment. The slicing software had both at over an hour. Let's see how close it turns out. So it looks like a photo finish with the video editing, but really, the Clipper-based X4 Pro was at least 12 minutes faster. Alright everybody, so here we have both prints. As you can see, completely functional. The designs, the point two layers on both are turning out absolutely fantastic. I have zero complaints with either printer. Pretty wicked cool though to save 12 minutes and get the same quality. Now I usually print these at 0.3 layers, so of course friends I will be doing another test to see how quickly those turn out. Of course don't forget you can add comments below if you've got ideas of things we should be trying next. Friends as I wrap up I just want to remind you about my website hlmodtech.com. Of course I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. Below that, you'll also find the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. If you scroll down a little further, you will see the awesome new course, Tinkercad in 20 Days, which is part of cadclass.org. You can check out that video for all the details, and of course, there's even a coupon. Do not forget the link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. 
finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, remember you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.